Good morning. Today's verse is from the book of Psalms. It is Psalms 59, 16. But I will sing of your strength. I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been a fortress and a refuge in the day of my distress. Now, it's important to remember where we are in this. Psalms largely was written by David. A, a, a huge portion of the book of Psalms was written by David. And in this particular one, he is, uh, as I understand it, his kingdom is surrounded. People have been sent who were sent to kill him. So in the middle of his distress, in the middle of everything that he was fighting, you see, if you read this entire psalm, you see him, you see him cry out to God saying, God, help me. Why won't you help me? Help me, please. Help me, help me, help me. And that sounds like a lot of what we have today. But he goes one step further. He digs deeper because, because David knows that, that our God is not a small God. He knows that he's a big God. And he knows that he doesn't need to hide the details of what his struggles are from God. No matter how big or small our struggles are, we don't need to hide it from God. And David knew this. So when we see this transition, we see this Psalms transition, and what he, get, what he does is he goes from the middle of the cry and the plea for help to a point where he gives it all to God and he recognizes that God is in control. And what this verse is saying is in the midst of everything else, but God, I will sing of your strength. I will sing of your steadfast love in the morning. And I love this because not only does he say he will sing in the midst of, of anger, will he sing in the midst of the distress and despair that he's sitting in? He's going to praise God. But he also says that I will sing aloud. I'm not going to do it to myself. I'm not going to sing quietly in the, in the corners and in, in, um, in hiding, if you will. I'm going to sing aloud in the morning about your love, about your strength. And that is so important because we go through life and we wander through our trials and tribulations and we keep them to ourselves. We pass somebody and they say, how you doing? Oh, good, how about you? Oh, good, my daughter loves to say it all the time. Pretty good, how about you? <laughs> Don't like it, she knows that. Anyway, I wanna hear details. I wanna know what she's struggling with because I'm not a big God, but I'm a pretty decent dad, I'll listen. I'll care. I'll talk. I'm a good friend. If you're wrestling with something, let me know. I would love to be there. I would love to be there for everybody that I could possibly help. And, and I'm just one guy. But God reaches out for each and every one of us. He is always there. Somebody gave me this the other day. It's perfect for exactly what we've been taught and, and what this entire site is about. I am 100. What do we mean by that? It means I'm the 100 sheep. And what does this say? He left the 99 to rescue me. That's what I'm 100 is all about. And it is not about, it's not about sitting by ourselves. It's not about hiding in our misery. It's about being open and honest with those around us. Not everybody per se, but, but those that we trust, those that are in our inner circle. And most certainly with God and most certainly with Jesus. And let's face it, the Holy Spirit is right there walking with us every single day. And every moment, moments where we forget about him, he's still there. So God is always with us. Emmanuel shows us that. And so we need to remember that no matter what we're facing, no matter what our trials and tribulations are, God is there and we can sing in his strength. And we can sing aloud because his love is so great. And we dig further. You have been my fortress and my refuge in the day of my distress. Now, as I started looking at this, the two different, two different words here. In the day of my distress, you've been my fortress and my refuge. And I started to think, what's the difference? Well, if I was really following God, then the fortress would be enough because I wouldn't have made mistakes. If I were perfect, then I could rest in God's fortress because nothing would get to me. But let's face it, I am far from perfect, far from perfect. And in that, the cracks that are in me, the weaknesses that I have, the fleshly desires that I have where I fall short time and time again, that's my refuge. That's where I can go be with God and say, Father God, I screwed up again. And he knows. And he says, Dax, I know. But he can be there. He can be my refuge. Yes, am I going to feel his convictions? Absolutely. But does that mean he's turned his back on me? Not a chance. My God doesn't turn his back on me. I turn my back on him all the time. I don't want to, but every time I make a mistake, that's the equivalent of me turning away from God. 
So what's important to know is when we go through this, when we go through our trials and tribulations and things get hard and things get difficult and they beat us up and they beat us down, go back to God in detail. Not generalization, but not where God's saying, hey, Dax, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? No. God, this is what I'm wrestling with today. This is where I fell down. This is where I screwed up. It's a great analogy of how to pray. P, praise. Praise. P-R-A-Y. Praise, accept, repent, yield. Praise. The first line speaks to this. But I will sing of your strength. Why? Praise you for your strength. God, you are so big and so strong that I need to worry about nothing else. I will sing aloud for your steadfast love in the morning. First thing in the morning, get down on your knees. Have that moment with God where he can, we can pour into you and you can remember that he loves you. So no matter what yesterday brought, today brings a new morning. And then we get into the R, the repent. For in my time of, my day of distress, you've been my, fortu- my fortress and my refuge. And that's never going to change. Your love will never change. That's what we need to remember. And that's what this verse takes me back to. And that's exactly where I think that David was when he was dealing with this. All the enemy literally surrounding him. Most of us don't have that today. Not in the physical sense. But in the spiritual sense, we're surrounded every day by media, social media, people, TV, radio, news. Everything is meant to cause us distress and tear us apart and distract us from being focused on God. So start the morning on your knees, start the morning, sing of his strength, sing aloud of his steadfast love in the morning. And remember that he's a big God. And no matter what you're carrying, no matter how far you think you are, no matter how big of a 100 you think you are, he's got you. He's never turned his back on you. Father God, thank you for your love. Thank you for the fact that it never changes. Your rules have never changed. Your guidelines have never changed. Father God, we look at the world and we see it change every single day. What is good today is bad tomorrow. What was bad yesterday is good today in the eyes of the world. But Lord, your love doesn't change. And in your love comes that conviction, but never condemnation. And that's the part we lose sight, Lord. We get uncomfortable in the conviction And so we turn to the world and the world says, it's okay. However you want to feel, whatever makes you happy, you do you. But Father God, that's not what you teach us. And let's face it, if we're good parents, if we're really striving to raise good children, what we're going to do is not say, hey, whatever feels good to you, you do it. Say, hey, whatever felt good to you and you did wrong, it's okay. But let's learn from that mistake and let's turn back to you, God. So please help us remember that as we walk through our days, that you never leave us alone, that you are our fortress, you are our refuge. And every single morning, Father God, we should get up and sing of your strength, sing aloud of your love that never, ever changes and never leaves us. And thank you, God, for that, for proving that from the day that you imagined us to the day that you created us to the day that you sent your son back to save us because we needed your refuge. Father God, thank you for walking with us in each and every day. Please forgive us of the things that we fell short on yesterday and help us in the things that we're fighting with today. And tomorrow, we'll worry about tomorrow because tomorrow you will still be here. Father God, thank you. We love you in your son Jesus' holy name. Amen. can separate even if I ran away your love never fails I know I still make mistakes but you have new mercies for me every day your love never fails you stand the same through the ages your love never changes There may be pain in the night But joy comes in the morning And when the oceans rage I don't have to be afraid Because I know that you love me Your love never fails Your love never fails
always remember that no matter how many mistakes we've made or however many, however big those mistakes are, that his love never fails. And no matter how far you think you are from God, he is never that far from you. Praise God. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. We'll see you right back here again soon.